I'm going to demonstrate a few different configurations of wraps which you can do on a cat, T-Touch wraps. Um, a lot of times cats do really not appreciate having a wrap put on them, but other times they can be extremely helpful, especially to help with um, feelings of connection in the body, also to help a cat to feel more calm if it's very nervous. Um, but again, everything, it, it all depends on your cat's personality, what, whether this is going to work or not, and sometimes it may take introducing it very gradually. Um, so this is actually um, a two-inch um, wrap, which I have cut in half, so it's only one inch wide, um, which is usually a good width for a cat. And first of all, um, one thing that would be good to try initially would be just to fold the wrap up and let's see, and you can offer your cat a little treat on the folded up wrap. Um, just put a little treat as though it's a dinner plate and offer it to the cat. The next thing that could be helpful to do is to try just draping the folded up wrap over the cat's back for a minute. Leave it there for a second, take it off. Now you can try that a few different times just to get it used to something being on its body. And when you finally do go to try and put the wrap on, um, we're going to first do a quarter wrap, which is simply you start out with putting it across the chest, crisscross over the back. And then with the quarter wrap, you just tie underneath its stomach. Tie the wrap there. But then if you want to go ahead and make the half wrap, you continue the crisscross under the stomach, and then you come around and tie the wrap off to the side of the spine so that the knot is not putting pressure on the spine. Okay, so then I always try and tuck the little ends underneath. Some people use diaper pins to um, affix the, uh, you know, to close the wraps, but I like to use just knots, because I'm always, you know, to make sure the pin doesn't come open. Um, so that's the half wrap, and that is really enough for a lot of cats. Um, but if you have a cat with mobility issues, having trouble using its hind legs, you may want to add on to that and make a full wrap, in which case you would take a second wrap, loop it through, and so you have two halves of the wrap and one's going to go around the back of one leg and then tie back here. I'm just kind of improvising and tucking under this, but actually in reality, I would tie it there, and probably, if I was going to continue to use it on the cat, I would um, cut the wrap to size. Um, so we just come around, and I'm going to tie it on the other side, so you'll see it's going, now it's going around each of the hind legs, and I'm keeping it nice and loose. Um, it's close to the body, but it's not tight. So you can, like, stick your fingers underneath, because the point is not to have it be really tight, but just be fitted to the body so that it will bring body awareness. And now we have the full wrap on, which brings awareness to the whole body. And you may want to, at first, only keep it on for a very short time, a couple minutes maybe, and then take it off. But again, just take your cue from how the end animal reacts because some cats take to it right away and become very comfortable with it on. But you always need to supervise your animals when they have the wrap on so that they don't get tangled up in it. Um, you know, never leave an animal unsupervised with this on. And um, generally with a cat at the most, I would leave it on around 20 minutes and that's only if it feels comfortable. And you can do T-touch T touches on it with the wrap on um, 
it's nice to get them walking a little bit to make sure that they don't feel like they're frozen. Um, you know, and like I said, you can do some nice zigzag touches, you can do connected T-touches going down the body, whatever you think the cat is going to need. Um, okay, that's it.